Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Ray. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the Venom stand, motorcycle stand. I got the back one first, a little while back. It works so great, so sturdy and so strong and everything that I decided to get the front one because I needed to do front fork work. Of course, and you gotta elevate the tire in a, or the whole wheel. However you wanna look at it. And that's how it looks. Now you notice something in there that was my my one gripe with this stand that I did not like. And there it is. See that? You have to take that fender off. And that was a that I really did not like. And the reason why you have to do that is because when the bike is on the ground, you have this much clearance in there not much clearance it's like the it, the compression from the fork forces that thing tight in there and you can't put this stand in there it's got a pin that goes inside the triple tree that's going to try to grind itself up against the inside the bottom of the bike up inside there you know even right now the clearance is pretty small you know with the tie with the fender off you know, I tried every which way. I took the pin off, put it in the triple tree first, then I came in with the stand to try to have the meat so that I don't have that issue. And plus, when, and uh, that didn't work at all. And this stand, you have to like maneuver it down so that you could put, get the pin in the triple tree and go up, right? The fender's totally in the way. There's no way of you being able to tilt this inside there, you know, to get it in, to get the pin in there. It's just way too tight, you know, with that on, so you have to take it off. Once you take off the fender, it goes on like like cake, real nice. I tried pulling the pins and doing it without the bottom stand first, and then coming with these pins. It just was not working. When the fender's on this, you're not gonna be able to use this at all. You know, the Venom front stand is totally not for this bike when the fender is on, but when it's off, it's awesome. I tried some other stands, they're doing the same thing. So I decided to keep this because like I said, if you're doing any, you know, the only time you're really gonna have the front, you know, fork up in the air is when you're doing, you know, maintenance work to your brakes and things like that and whatnot, you know, and you're doing oil changes and everything and all that. So if you decide to, uh, to do oil changes, your oil changes are not gonna have to come with taking that off. You're no longer taking fairings from the bottom and pulling I mean, like pulling the pin and letting it you know come down whatever you know it, it's gonna it's gonna involve taking this off any type of thing that you have to do with that bike has to be elevated but very even in the air you're taking that off but you know what that's not a deal breaker for me because all it has is three bolts on one side three bolts on the other side and that quick is off and the thing is off that I found to take, I, mean, I take this off that fast, you know, um, but I'm also using a power tool to take it off, you know, where if you have to do it by hand and just like, you know, ratchet there, you're gonna be there for a half minute trying to take the stuff off. But, you know, all in all, I love the stand. It's very sturdy, super strong. You know, this bike is, you know, pitching 600 pounds you know, and it holds it, you know, just perfectly fine. I find that it's super sturdy for it, you know. You know, like and, sh you know, like and share this video. I tried to look this up for other motorcycles, you know, for this motorcycle, but I didn't see not one video on this for YouTube, so I decided to make my own and let you guys know my review on the stands, okay? The stand is awesome. It works super awesome, but fender's got to come off. And then you have, you know, you can do whatever you have to do. My advice to you is if you're taking that off and putting this on, try to knock out as much work as you can as possible on the motorcycle, you know, and get all the stuff done that you need while it's there off and, and it's up in the air, you know, that way, you know, you're all done. And once this comes off and you put that fender on, you're really not going to be putting this back up on that front, you know, um, uh, for, for a while, for a long time, you're basically going to be using the back one. You know, which is what I do when I come home and I want to park it, whatever, and I have it like in the garage. You know, uh, I keep it on the kick on the regular kickstand, but I do love the ability to like 
just pull it up in the air and everything. And not have to worry about if it gets accidentally bumped into, it's going to hit the floor. But anyway, much love to everybody. And uh, like and subscribe. You know, uh, if you have any more information on the stand and you think I'm wrong about this, you know, uh, just let me know in the comments too. But believe me when I tell you guys, I tried every which way to put this in there. The fender has to get out no matter what. But anyway, peace and love.